Hello class, today I'm going to show you how we can handle symmetry when there's a, a symmetry for the geometry and the loading which should be included the boundary condition and type of load we have if we have symmetrical uh, condition how we can handle it. Let's start the structural analysis. I already draw two uh, very simple geometries, one full and the other one half, which is going to be the symmetrical uh, one side of the uh, symmetry surface. Okay, so let's load in our geometry. So full model for the second one. model. I'm going to start with the full model, solve it, and then go back to the symmetry one, then check how we, how the results are closed or not closed, and what is the benefits of using uh, symmetry. Okay. The geometry is loading to the mechanical design part. Um, when it's loaded, I'm going to have a general uh, mesh, not very fine because should be very fast and uh, it's just for the uh, showing the technique I'm not looking for the accurate results so this is our geometry uh, we are going to have a fixed support here and there and of course we need force is going to apply to this surface it's going to be 200 newton what direction no the other direction so these are the load fixed support left and right side and force over the surface so as you can see it can be cut to the half and use this half okay let me take care of the mesh again I'm not looking for Good quality mesh just to have good good enough results so the first one method with this geometry and i want to be fast so tetra would be good usually hexa takes a bit longer uh, to mesh and of course it's much more accurate what else i also need to include sizing i want to have a general sizing of one millimeter for the mesh if I mesh it now you're going to see uh, overly uh, okay surfaces but we know that uh, we have a fixed support there and there so we expect to have some type of st stress concentration this fillet area or this fillet area so I can have different techniques there, but the simplest one I'm going to apply is to go the sizing, where is the span angle center, this one, it's coarse, so I'm going to ask to have a fine mesh when we have angled stuff. And uh, so let's check it. Now you can see it's much more refined, close to the uh, fillet area, this area, this area, this area. Of course, it's not good enough. We have a skewed mesh here, as you can see. Uh, the expansion ratio is large. Uh, so I need to work now in this area, this surface, to make the size of the mesh closer to this, to have a much better 
accuracy. But I'm starting here, good enough uh, for this presentation. Uh, what type of solution I'm looking for? I'm total deformation and let's go stress one. I think stress will be enough. Did I apply everything? Yeah. So let's solve it. Okay, now we have the solution, for example, for total deformation. Again, you can see the top side has a high deformation. This is the blue part, they are the big support. They're all okay. Um, one more point, as you can see here, the background is white and it's excellent for writing professional reports. How I did it? I went to tools, option, and appearance. As you can see, we have two colors for the gradients, color gradients. For example, let me select this color. If I select, so we are going to have the darkest color as this pink and white the lightest color. So that gradient is going to be there, as you can see here. But if you're writing a report for a boss, for a company, nobody accepts this type of uh, results. So that is why we all always make it white to white to have a professional presentation of our uh, results. So it will be much more elegant. Of course, when you want to uh, uh, create a figure, you put it like this and then have a nice picture of your uh, design. Okay, uh, what type of stress, maximum stress is 388. Where is it? Up to here, let me zoom it. So that is the stress concentration area, the whole this area and that portion. Um, I'm not sure about if this is the stress concentration and the value is correct. And if I want to be sure, I need to define mesh a few times, conduct meshing dependency tests to make sure, okay, this is going to stay uh, the exact value. So uh, let's consider we've done the stress concentration and the stress is about 380. Uh, let me show you a little bit about the legend. We have some uh, setting for the legend. As you can, as you can see, I ex um, dragged it to have a little bit more results and it will be clear. And uh, depends on the type of uh, report I'm going to publish. Uh, I may say, uh, for example, the report is going to be black and white. Why I should include this colorful picture, which I know when they print, nothing is going to be clear. So you go right click on the legend, color scheme, and select grayscale. Uh, display. Not this one. Okay, no wireframe. Now you can see uh, it's a black and white grayscale. The darkest area has the highest stress and lightest area has the lowest. And you may want to select this type of presentation for your report because it's black and white report would be easy. Or you say, no, this is not clear. It should be much more uh, sharper presentation so we can select reverse uh, grayscale so the dark area has lower uh, stress and light area with higher stress 
this is another type. So color schemes can help us to uh, identify uh, the area of interest. Uh, I talked with some of you, you need to, uh, whenever we have a sharp edge, we need to uh, refine the geometry, make it smoother because the mesh independence is going to be a problem. But if something happened and there was no way of refining mesh and you want to present the results for the, this geometry with a sharp edge, but not including the the that high uh, stress of the sharp edge the technique we usually use is usually we you know the maximum and minimum for the stress uh, or the any uh, parameter you're investigating is going to be fixed you can touch it but the other ones can be changed for example let me include include a little bit so I have a few more. I, when you click on the number, you have positive negative. You can increase the number of numbers here. So the cutting numbers can increase. I'm going to say I already investigated this geometry and I know the maximum stress we are going to see is two, 350 megapascal, nothing above that. If there is a, something above 350, it is uh, because of the mesh and corners and uh, those errors. So I'm going to manually select 350. So as you can see from blue zero to 350, but still 388 is the exist and it's a red area. So what I'm going to do is right click, independent band, and I want to have independent band at the top. So now I have from blue to red, which is 0 to 350, which I'm looking for, and this portion, which I don't want to see. It is, exists, but I don't want to include it in my uh, gradient. So I can just double click, for example, make it white. Now this legend from blue to red shows the exact uh, values of the stress which I expected and it is correct and the uh, above that value is just error and I and for some reason I couldn't get rid of it so you, as you can see we have that white area which is 388 I didn't include in my legend okay uh, later if you had enough time uh, check other settings here I'm going to reset for now so this is our full uh, geometry. Let's go and investigate the other one. Before going further, let me show you the information about the mesh. So we have 57,000 element. And for the solution, uh, it took uh, 22 seconds and uh, the memory we use is 460 megawatts okay now let's investigate the half of it same geometry the only thing i did was cutting and splitting the geometry and keep the one half Okay, geometry is loading. Okay. 
as you can see it's a half of the geometry this okay it's still loading okay this is the symmetry i'm going to have symmetry at this surface if you check the this tabs one of them is model and inside the model we have this symmetry i'm going to click symmetry and which type of symmetry we have we have region symmetry i'm selecting the surface apply it and which direction it is z direction so i need to have the symmetry at z direction so let's the default was x i'm changing to z so done uh, as you can see we have that symmetry there Let up, let's apply the same setting we applied for the previous geometry but of course you should remember the setting I am applying is although it's exactly same but ANSYS uh, is going to change some uh, stuff and it's not exactly same mesh we may have so uh, there's going to be a little bit difference between the mesh we did for the previous one and the current one even though the setting is same because uh, ANSYS need to fix some mesh here and there and to, to fit those we may have some differences let's see but i hope yeah visually it's okay but uh, if you check compare these this area with the other mesh they are a little bit different let's apply the uh, boundaries so fix support here force over this surface the previous one was 200 so 100 which is half of it the direction is going to be the opposite direction apply uh, solutions is there going to be total deformation and some type of stress let's solve it okay now we have a uh, stress equivalent stress again same area the value is almost same 364 so it's just because of the little bit of mesh if you refine mesh they're going to be same total deformation is 0 0.002 which was exactly same as for the previous one and uh, let's see what was the difference let me show you the mesh statics now instead of 57,000 we have 28,000 so it's uh, almost half the number of mesh we have so it's smaller uh, how about solution instead of 22 seconds it took 13 seconds instead of 400 megabyte of the memory used it's 249 megabyte of the memory used so it's we saved a lot of uh, computational resources and uh, we found this result uh, let's for example present this i'm going to present this way and uh, put it here which is much nicer or let's make it uh, horizontal so the presentation would be nicer and uh, when you take a picture the result would be interesting again you can apply any change you want uh, change the descriptions and get the result please include this white background whenever you're uh, extracting the result and uh, if you don't want to show the mesh you can show the just the geometry but it's difficult so we need to have that uh, framed one let me so 
So this is the original and after deformation. I don't want this. Undeformed. Okay. So it depends on the the skills you have. You can select the or the the one uh, what you want to do. You can change. Uh, let let me show you where is the maximum. Maximum is going to be there. For example, if you want to present the result. It's a nice result. It's a white background. When you take a picture, it will be nice presentation of that. Minimum, any blue area. Or if you want to see what is the value of any stress anywhere, you select probe, and this shows the, the exact value of the stress. Let me turn it off. Okay, thank you very much, and see you next.